one other thing that we're seeing now, and I think this is a response to the rise of Delta, is more willingness among governmental authorities and others to mandate the vaccine. We saw that yesterday the VA said it's going to require the vaccine for its employees. We saw the mayor of New York, the governor of California. Do you anticipate seeing more in this vein, more requirements? Yes, and it cannot come soon enough. We have hit a wall when it comes to vaccinations in this country. We're just not going to get even where close to the vaccine levels that we need in order to prevent another surge of um, a, a, uh, of coronavirus and the development of new mutations and new variants over time. Really, what we need to do is to make a decision as a society. I mean, we have laws, for example, against drunk driving. You can drink in your home or in private if you would like. But we have a law saying that if you want to get behind a wheel where you could potentially endanger other people, then that's not allowed. That's against the standards of conduct in our society. I think at some point we need to make a similar decision about the vaccine. You can remain unvaccinated if you so choose. But if you want to be in public and potentially could be infecting others with a dangerous and sometimes fatal disease that's highly transmissible, then there is an obligation of society. I mean, I think you could have an opt out the way that France, for example, or Italy and other countries are doing, saying that if you want to be in bars, restaurants, movie theaters, et cetera, either be vaccinated or have proof of a recent negative test. I hope that we move in that direction as a country here, because at the end of the day, I don't really understand why people have the choice to be infecting um, our vulnerable children or immunocompromised people or even others who have taken the responsible choice to get vaccinated.